lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome back to Niche Warrior Cats with Blossom Clan. When we left off in the previous episode, I made a little bit of a mistake and also forgot a few things and you guys have been awesome in reminding me of what needs to be done to make sure Blossom Clan survives and thrives. Right, okay. So the first thing that I forgot, of course, was Flame Kit was supposed to be named Flame Paw. For some reason that completely slipped my mind, even in the Mentors tab, I wrote him down as uh, Fox, no what, Flame Paw? I wrote him down as Flame Kit, which is not right. It should have been Flame Paw, and I will go and correct that. I have yet to do that. Another thing you guys said was that I should not just focus on Stormthorn as the queen of the tribe. I should actually have Another queen, we like to at least have two queens going at a time because it means we ensure genetic diversity. I know you guys have asked me to check the different immunities that we currently have going on in the tribe. So I will make sure to do that um, after we jump into the family tree. But another thing one of you lovely said was that I should go back to the little summary that Trinket gave me in I think back in episode one of season three about the pairings that could happen. And I should prepare a list so that I can have it beside me when I'm actually playing and know which ones to pair up. So I've gone ahead and done exactly that. I do have a little bit of a summary list of the nichelings and while I was having a look I realized something. So Trinket suggested Rivenose and Treegrass, um, but I think, so Rivenose and Treegrass and then it was Stormthorn and Daisy Star. Now I think I've actually gone ahead and mated them differently. I think I've mated Stormthorn with River, Rivenose so we'll have to see if tree grass is compatible with daisy star don't know if that's gonna work we'll have to check it out um and so the only other nichelings that are actually compatible because well if they were mate for life then i can't mix river nose and storm Thorn with someone else now but swamp tail right over here we have the handsome swamp tail who looks very much like his father valerian foot but he is not valerian foot and i think valerian foot is his father that might not be true I think his father is actually Palm Fluff. Don't know, we'll find out. But <laughs> uh, Swamtail and Pine Hunt, they apparently are compatible. So we might have a little bit of a love story developing, guys. We'll just have to see. However, I think Pine Hunt has an apprentice now. No, she doesn't. Okay, so she could actually go ahead and have a kit. First thing I want to check, actually, is who is your father? It was Palm Fluff and Plum Claw. Holy cow. Yeah, so Swamptail and Elmpaw are the children of Palm Fluff. They are completely unrelated to Pine Hunt, right? Yes, he's unrelated to Pine Hunt, which is cool. Stormthorn has F and H, and she's been mating with Rivenose. Daisy Star has F and B. Okay, so Daisy Star and Rivenose have the same immunities and they also have recessive personality, so I'm fine to keep her with Rivenose. I'm okay with that. I think the other one you guys suggested was Treegrass. K and H, F and B. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? So Treegrass and Daisy Star are actually compatible, so we might have something going on there. However, Treegrass is currently training, so we can't change that. Flame kit should be poor. I don't know why I completely forgot that. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Hopefully that makes you guys feel better. And we have that going on. Okay, so flame poor is the son of Valerian Foot, not Swamptail, but they do look very similar. Look at that. Very similar. Okay, flame poor, right, is the son of Valerian Foot. He looks more like Reed Spike. See, this is weird. I keep thinking Palm Fluff's children are Valerian Foot's children. I keep thinking Valerian Foot's child is Palm Fluff's child. It's weird, but anyways. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, who else did we have? Oh yeah, you guys wanted to check the immunities, didn't you? Well, okay. Let's just go down one by one, shall we? We have no immunity A. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, immunity B. So we have immunity B in the tribe. We don't have immunity C. Wait a second, let me write this down so I can summarize for you guys. So we have immunity B. Um, we don't have D. We don't have E. We have immunity F. This is kind of scary, guys. 
We have immunity G. Mm, we have H. We have not I. And we have K. Okay, guys, so currently in Blossom Clan, we have five immunities. We have B, F, G, H, and K. For those of you who are curious, that is our check done. Okay, so if we do find someone new, that probably would be a good thing because immunities is something that unfortunately we cannot roll genetics for. Like you can't get blessings for that sort of thing. Right, okay, where is our lovely, lovely, who was it? Pine Hunt. Pine Hunt. Pine Hunt, you, my lovely, I think are going to skip mentoring anyone and you are going to actually get mating. F and H, K and G. Yep, you are going to have kits with Swamptail. Oh, look at that. And it's beautiful because they are the exact same age. There we go. And she's going to collect up this food that we can say was an offering from Swamptail. Maybe a shy offering to Pine Hunt. I kind of see Swamptail as someone who's very handsome. But he's very shy, and he's not very vain. Yeah, I, I see that a lot. And I think Pine Hunt would be very much taken by his handsome appearance. But at the same time, um, yeah, I feel like the females appreciate him more, perhaps, than uh, he appreciates himself. But he wouldn't flaunt that sort of thing, I think, yeah. The females don't express it as much, though, because they know he's a shy, quiet personality. Um, and they don't want to scare him away. But I, I see that. I feel that. Okay, Valerian Foot, you are going to come here, clear away these grasses. And I think, what did we have? Stormthorn? Um, she's got two days left of her pregnancy. She's mates with Rivenose, right? Dangerous pairing, but a pairing nonetheless. Hmm. Do we have a deputy? Do we have. Yeah, Stormthorn's the deputy. Yeah, we made her the deputy in the previous episode. Right. A lot of things happened, guys. A lot of things happened. Right, we need to get some niche things moving. Coal shell. You don't have an apprentice. That's fine. I think you've been sp he's been spending a lot of time with Daisy Star. I think is what's been happening. He's been spending time with his best bud over here, Daisy Star, who grew up together, who he grew up together with. We have a beauty flake who is training. Oh my goodness, Elmpo, you're grown up. You're grown up, my boy. I didn't even realize. Okay, well, guys, El Elpo, jeez, Elmpo has grown up. He needs his warrior gemstones and a warrior name. Okay, let's go ahead and name him. Let's see what we can name you, my boy. You are going to be called Elm. Elm. You know what? I'm gonna call him Elmhorn. Yeah, Elmhorn. Welcome to the adult life. Elmhorn, here he is. Swamptail and Elmhorn are siblings. Look at them. I feel like the two brothers are actually really handsome despite the fact they have frog legs and we don't really like that, but I think they're very handsome. And they're pretty strong as well. Damn, those brothers are so strong. Hold on a second, Swamptail. He's got six as well. His brother, um, where is his brother? Uh, where is it? Elmhorn has six attack as well. They are flipping amazing warriors. Okay, I'm really proud of them. Really proud. And they have the opposite immunities, which is, again, really cool. But we've got BNF, guys. If you have any pairings with him, we have that as well. Okay. Uh, but let's go ahead and see. Hmm. But there's no other female that he can take on as a mate yet. The only other female who's available apart from Stormthorn is Pine Hunt, and she's been taken up by his brother, Swamptail. So there we go. Okay. Wait a second, no. That means Beauty Flake is free. K and H. Being <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, Beauty Flake and Elmhorn could actually be mates, everyone. They could be mates. Are they related? I don't think they're related. Beauty Flake, Blaze Stream, and Flower Star. Let me get rid of this. Blaze, um, G Stream and Faster. Yeah, they're not related. Um, is she related to Cold Shell? Yes, they're siblings. Okay, you know what? She's gonna take, I think, I think, I think we also have, this is so cute. I feel like both brothers are having a romance story at the same time. He could take Beauty Flake as a mate. The question is, do I want them to? Normally what I like doing is I limit the queens 
to 2. Yeah, I might not even do that guys, I might not. Because normally I like having two queens going at a time. We don't want to overpopulate. We do want a mix of genetics, but at the same time, Stormthorn also needs to go. Like, I mean, she's probably going to have a lot of kids because she wants to produce a cat. And she's Louise. This is... Okay. Right. There's a lot of sun coming through the window. It's feeling a bit hot. Right. Okay. I don't know. Should we risk that? Should we not? I feel like Beauty Flake could... Yeah, I mean, she deserves to. She can if she wants to because she's done her job. She's trained someone up. I think we're going to do it, guys. We are going to do it. Even if this is the only kit she ever has, I think we're going to do it. At least this way we can see what immunities we want to jump with, but I think it's pretty cute that both brothers found their own love stories. And I think Pine Hunt... Is she siblings? Oh, that's so cute! That's adorable! So, oh, that's so cute! So Pine Hunt and Beauty Flake are sisters. Um, and Elmhorn and Swamptail are brothers. Huh. Pine Hunt's the younger sister. She fell in love with the older brother, Swamptail. Beauty Flake is the older sister. She fell in love with the younger brother, Elmhorn, who was also her apprentice. Huh. Huh. These love stories are getting very complicated and I very much like it. So I think Elmhorn is actually going to approach her rather than the other way around. I think he's a little bit taken with her. And she accepted his mating! Okay, that is beautiful, wonderful, wondrous. He's very slow though. Beauty flick. Let's see. I think she might just move in this direction. There's some stuff to dig over here. I think she wants to adventure a little bit. That's fine and well. Elmhorn. Let's clear away this piece of grass. Maybe he's wanting to find... Actually, Beauty Flick might even have her kit over here. I don't know yet. She might, because this is a nursery. We don't have to have one nursery at a time. This tribe doesn't work that way. They can have multiple nurseries. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. She might set up her own nursery. It depends. It all depends. Okay, Rivernose, meanwhile, is going to clear away this piece of grass. He does want to stay close to his mate, I'm sure. Not wander too far, be within um, running distance of her if need be. Stone Petal, I think, is going to... Yeah, Stone Petal. I think I'll jump here to clear away... Oh, collect a nut, clear away some stuff. But should the need for him arise, he will be really close by. Okay, we have Tree Grass and her apprentice, Flame Pool. So Flame Pool... Let's see, how far can your apprentice go? Maybe, maybe you guys should go in this direction because it's getting pretty crowded on this side. I think Flamepool is going to try jumping here and his mentor is going to catch up with him super quick. There we go, clear away this piece of grass. Okay, well, let's turn the day, guys. Things got pretty dramatic pretty quickly. And the days are going by a little bit slow because we do have a lot more nichelings. But we need to maintain whatever diversity we do have. And since I don't know which pairs are going to take on which genes or produce which genes, I'm inclined to breed pretty much all of them. So we'll have to see. But I feel like Beauty Flick and Pine Hunt should have at least one kit each. But that doesn't mean I'm going to breed both of them over and over again. Normally I like having two consistent females and the rest, it depends. So I might give them a little bit of a break after this. Stormthorn is going to keep having kits though until she produces a personality kit. Most probably. We'll just have to see how it works out. But okay, let's turn the day. Has anyone grown up? Nobody has uh, crunched or died. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I, ju I didn't do some stuff. Beauty Flake actually needs the thing in the middle, the gemstone, to show that she is com um, not compatible but eligible to be deputy should the need for that arise as well. Okay, wonderful. We don't have any nichelings who have aged up out of nowhere. Okay, nice. Itty Bitty Ice Kit is actually ready to move out of the nest and play around. Stormthorn is ready to give birth. So she's gonna collect up a nut. And I think she's gonna hop into this nest. Maybe try and take out this bush. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> okay, I think she was just playing a little bit with that. And Rivernose is gonna take this up. Not Rivernose, we need Stone Petal. He's going to collect a nut, jump over here, and give out a purr. 
to soothe um, Stormthorn while she's going through her labor. Wonderful. And also to protect Ice Kit should the new kit be sickly. So that's pretty cool. We've got that going on. River Nose is going to probably clear away a grass over here and jump ahead. He is still within distance of his mate, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, Pine Hunt and Beauty Flick can also give birth. So it might have a little bit of a baby boom, guys. Can Pine Hunt... Beauty Flick could probably come into this nursery, so I think she's going to try making a run for this nursery. There we go. She's going to have her little kit over here. It's probably best, if possible, for the females to have kits wherever there are nurseries, but if they're too far when they're going to labor, then they can create just a nursery of their own. But I think it'll be easier for her, especially this is the only kit she has, to go ahead and um, be in the presence of other queens and a medicine cat, of course. And then I think Pine Hunt is gonna build her own nest right over here. So let's clear away these pieces of grass. She's gonna build a nest right there. I think Swamptail is going to grab some food and clear away this grass. He's discovered yet more food and this is where his father actually died. So there we go. He's having his first child born right next to his father's little gravesite. Sounds a bit grim, but hey, it's okay. Valerian Foot's going to clear that. Tree Grass is going to take her apprentice. Let's see how far he can come down. He can come here. Okay, she'll take him down this way. He's gonna jump right here by the coast on the cliff and then she's gonna clear away the grasses over there, show him what the ocean and water looks like. Although I'm pretty sure he's getting a good view from this entire island because literally there is nothing but ocean all the way around. <laughs> okay, and then over here we have, of course, Elmhorn, who I think would be very angsty that his mate is going to labor, but she would probably shoo him away. I think she still feels a little bit shy about this whole romance thing. She did, you know, she didn't see him as, as a handsome young man until, until now, until he approached her. And she's used to be the one in charge and mentoring him, and she doesn't want him to be the one offering support right now. It's a little bit awkward, so um, she's gone ahead and done that. Daisy Star is going to jump here with Cold Shell, and they're finding quite a bit of food, which I'm happy about. So that's pretty cool. And we're about to have three births, guys, three births. So let's have a look at what the females have. I'm excited about Stormthorn, hoping she gets pursed out and it's not sickly, but we do have two other females. So let's see. <gasps> oh no! It's a person out initially that's sickly. No. Okay, we got a person out of Nishling. Unfortunately, he is sickly, but we do have the person out. Hmm. 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 What to do with this Nishling? What to do? What to do? Stone Petal won't have enough time to see this kit through to adulthood, like to do his apprenticeship. And he is going to pass away pretty soon. If that happens, then the sickly Nishling is going to be sickly. And it's going to have a very short life. Hmm. Oh my goodness. But if this Nishling becomes a medicine cat, it won't be able to breed. If it's not a medicine cat, it can breed. Who can it breed with though? Hmm. We have two females born over here. Two females. So I'll figure that out in a little bit, but let's see. He's got double F immunity. Mm. We have K and H immunity with tree grass. Hmm. She doesn't have recessive person out though. Okay, so I guess we have a medicine cat at least, but this medicine cat's gonna have a very short life, unfortunately. Let's get Stone Petal to give out a purr. And I guess Stone Petal can take the little kit as an apprentice, if only for a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a baby, I think, for six days, so he's not even gonna be able to take it on as apprentice. I think at least Stone Petal will die, knowing that he, um, like the tribe is secure in the hands of an unfortunate Nishling, but a Nishling who will be able to help them. But before we end the episode, I do want to go through, has anyone aged up? Any apprentices aged up? No. I want to go ahead and name 
the kids that we just had born. So over here we have, let's have a look at the names list. You and my boy are going to be um, let's see. Nope, that doesn't suit. I think I'll name him Cedar Kit. Cedar Kit. Okay, Cedar Kit. We have a female over here with H and F, so she is healthy. Healthy itty bitty baby. Oh wait, he has the mind and body of a warrior, which is great, but he's gonna be a medicine cat. Um, this chick. I mean, this little baby, this little kit, has a mind and body of a warrior. She's quite strong, which I'm happy about. We are going to name her. Let's have a look at the names list. She is going to be. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'll name her. Uh, but does that suit? Kind of doesn't. I'll name her Apricot Kit. Apricot Kit. That is so many syllables that it sounds weird for uh, a warrior cat, but Apricot Kit it is. So Cedar Kit, Apricot Kit. And let's see her cousin, I think it is, over here with F and K immunity. She has a mind and body of a warrior too, which is pretty cool. We are going to name her, those savannah horns. I'm kind of happy they're being passed on though because they look cool in my opinion. She is going to be, my goodness, what to name you child, what to name you. You definitely look interesting. I think because of the patterning she has, which we associate a lot with flowers, I'm gonna name her Blossom Kit. So Blossom Kit, there we go. Okay guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.